high there. The sum of two numbers is 16, while the sum of their squares is 160. Find the two numbers. So before we solve this one, feel free to pause the video so that you may try this first on your own. Okay, good. So let's start. We start by letting x and y to be the two missing numbers. And since we know that the sum of the two numbers is 16, then we have x plus y to be equal to 16. Moreover, we know that the sum of their squares is 160. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 160. So this are the two equations that we need to solve this problem. First, take note that if we square the first equation, we'll obtain x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equals 256. So we obtain this one by the square of a binomial. So we know that one. And for this one, take note that 16 squared is equal to 256. Now from this one, I'll just interchange 2xy and y squared. So we'll have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy equals 256. And take note that we know the value of x squared plus y squared out here. Indeed, in our equation 2, we know that this is 160, so we'll have 160 plus 2xy equals 256. Subtracting 160 both sides, so the 160 on the left would cancel out and we'll be left with 2xy equals 96. Divide 2 both sides, so 2 divided by 2 will be 1. And so we have xy equals 48. And so this is what we have so far. So, so far, we used the first and the second equation to obtain this one. So, let's clear out some space and move this to the left. There. And so, it might seem that we are already stuck since we have two variables in this equation. But fortunately, we know that in the first equation, x plus y equals 16, we can obtain one of the variables in this one. In this case, let's obtain the value of y in terms of x. So that is, to obtain y, we just move x to the right. So we'll have y equals 16 minus x. Using this, we can plug this into our equation, and so we'll have x times 16 minus x to be equal to 48. So we now have an equation of only one variable. So we know how to solve x in this case. Distributing x to the binomial, we'll obtain 16x minus x squared equals 48. Move 16x to the right and negative x squared to the right as well. And we'll have 0 equals x squared minus 16x plus 48 or interchanging their positions, this is x squared minus 16 and 16x plus 48 equals 0. So we have a quadratic equation. And we know that to solve a quadratic equation, there are certain tricks that we can do. In this case, we'll apply factoring. So observe that negative 16 is equal to negative 4 plus negative 12, while 48 is equal to negative 4 times negative 12. This means that we know that the quadratic, the quadratic equation in here factors into x minus 12 times x minus 4, or x minus 4 times x minus 12. Given this, for this equality to hold, either x minus 12 is equal to 0, or x minus 4 is equal to 0. Considering the two cases, we'll obtain x equals 12 or x equals 4. So we now have a value for x. Going back to y, so first, if we consider the first case at x equals 12, using this equation, we can obtain y. So that is, we just plug in 12 out here. So we'll have 16 minus 12, or when simplified, that is 4. So when x is equal to 12, 
y is equal to 4. On the other hand, if x is equal to 4, so we do the same process. We use the obtained equation. So plugging in 4 out here, we'll have 16 minus 4. Or when simplified, that is 12. So when x is equal to 4, we have y equals 12. Observe that in either cases, we know that the two missing numbers are 4 and 12. Therefore, this out here is the final answer for this problem. Since we, are, we already found the two numbers, 4 and 12, that would give, when, when we add them, we'll obtain 16. And when we add their squares, so that is 4 squared plus 12 squared. So this is equal to 16 plus 144, if I'm not mistaken. And when we add this, this is 160, giving this. And so indeed, the two missing numbers are 4 and 12. So did you got that one correctly? I hope you did. And if there are some parts that are quite confusing, you may um, recap the video and try to slow it down and try to digest the material out here or the solution that I have. So yeah, feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions and recommendations for this video, this playlist, and this channel in general. So that's it and that's all for this how to solve video.